Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Secret of Evermore! Since last time, made it back to Horace's camp here, and, well, stocked up on a whole bunch of ingredients. Uh, most notably, ethanol, which I got from the guy who gave us the double drain alchemy. And I also got, or went back to Blimp to stock up on some limestone, wax, water, a little bit of ash, too. Make sure you got three Atlas amulets from here, because you can't buy them anywhere else. Although we will find some later on. So, now that we're done with that, let's see if we can get down into the river there. There's got to be a way in there somewhere. See, I think it's down here? No? Okay. Let's see, where is it? Ah! Okay, I didn't mean to go down like that, but hopefully I can go back up. Okay, that works. Good enough. Well, let's see where the river leads us, or... Well, what's left of the river? Is there like a waterfall or something? Whoa! Thanks, boy. Hey, I want to get that kill. Well, at least they can't damage me. Or at least not very much. Ha! Gotcha. Whoa! I like how they have the little rainbow there. It's a nice touch. Ow! And they died. No! But we might wish we had. <laughs> now we got to go through the Oglin Tunnel. And, well, take a wild guess what enemies we're going to find here. And, unfortunately, we can't see very well. I totally wouldn't blame any of you for using maps for this. Uh, they got some good ones on VG Maps there. Teleporters could have been labeled a bit more, a bit larger, but, well, it's not the end of the world. So, get speed going on everyone, so these guys can't hit us very well. Uh, let me get the kill there, Carl. Thank you. It is kind of hard to hit these guys, though. And, unfortunately, uh, yeah, these guys are just real fast. So, oh well. Let's see, I know we got another ingredient around here. Well, the water by, well, the water. Whoa! Okay. Enough with those bone buzzards. Oh, wow. I didn't think I... Whoa! How did my spell deal that much damage? Wow. Kick ass! So anyway, we got a teleporter maze! Except we can't see where the hell we're going! <laughs> oh, well. That's eh, not that bad, but it is kind of hard to see your way around. So, oh, wow. Well. I could just disable one of the background layers if I really wanted to, but, well, let's play fair. Okay, um, well, I was going to, uh, you know, let's use Double Drain. I could use a little bit of healing. Yeah, Double Drain will get a lot more powerful once we level it up. So, let's see what we can do. We got ingredients there, and we could go down, but let's go up first, I think. Uh, where am I on my maps? Uh, there we are. Okay. Yeah, let's take this one first. We can go down and take the other teleporter later. One thing you want to be careful for with the Oglins is that uh, they might be able to knock you back onto the teleporter and you will teleport against your will. So, yeah, you want to be careful with that. Okay, let's get speed going on us again. So basically what I'm going to do in this area is I want to use speed to uh, buff up and then use my alchemy spells whenever I run into uh, those bone buzzards. But otherwise I want to do as much as I can with my spear because I really want to level this thing up. I could level it up against all those mad monks. But there's another reason why I want to level up later on, because of some drops that the enemies can give us. Okay, well, got all those guys. I'm not going to kill every single Oglin I run into, but anyway. Okay, we got the ingredients over there. Whoa, I don't want to go there yet. Oh, wow, I'm surprised I hit that right at, at the start. Okay, got those guys. Oh, we got more? Oh, wow, holy cow. I didn't expect that. Okay, we got that, and yeah, let's go take uh, this teleporter now. No ingredients here. If we took the upper path, it would eventually lead around to here anyway. But I want to go here so that way I'm closer to the teleporter that will actually take us to the end. 
Right now, I just want to get all the ingredients. Um, oh, right, I need speed. Get that going, get a double drain going. I basically want to use double drain as my healing spell for the boy. And then I can use the heal spell for, well, healing on, or yeah, healing the dog. Which reminds me, someone was asking me, H.C. Bailey, can you use Atlas on the dog? And the answer is no. It's a self buff only, but the dog is already more than powerful enough anyway, so I wouldn't really worry about it. You know, let's use Double Drain on the Bone Buzzard. That works too. If you're not leveling Crush, I wouldn't worry about it too much because the next region that we're gonna be going to uh, doesn't sell Limestone. So we're gonna need other stuff. Uh, yeah, let's go with crush on all of them. Die, all of you! <laughs> and I didn't even level it up that much. I mean, I did a little bit of grinding, but only for like a couple minutes, so. Ha, get back here. Whoa, okay. Yeah, thank you for my buff wearing off half a second before the enemy is attacking me. Absolutely. Gotta time that perfectly. Okay. Well, the dog's almost got his next level up for his attack, but, well, we're not quite there yet. So, let's just keep on searching for more ingredients. Ooh, nice. Need that for my double drain. Get back here. Ha! Yeah, keep him in the corner here if you can. Gotcha. Okay, let's see. We got the two ingredients there. And, let's see. There's nothing on the water yet, but let's see, I think there's one over here. Oh, um, okay, thanks, boy. Whoa! Yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about trying to level up the spear, but I do want to do what I can, but I wouldn't go crazy over it. Whoa! Yeah, thank you for wearing off a full second before the enemy attacked me. Then I have time to rebuff. But otherwise, nah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, let's go there. I know there's ingredients around here somewhere. It's probably lower, wherever it is. Ah, got it. Okay, good. Ha! Let's see if I can get some kills, actually. Whoa! I actually killed a bone buzzard with my weapon. Ha! All right, now we're kicking ass and taking names. Ooh, more of that. Awesome. Let's see. Okay, we got that. So now let's go up. We could take the path to the left. That would lead us back to the teleporter where we started all this mess. Or the dog can make the kills. Why not? Let's see. Okay, go up here. Whoa. Let's, uh, yeah, level up my double train a little bit. Yeah, pretty good against those guys. Not bad. Let's see, we go over to the left here. Where is it? Okay, got that. And this will take us back to where we teleported before. Okay, so from here, I want to go way back to the second teleporter. Okay, take this one. And now we want to take the other path down. If you don't want to get all these ingredients, well, you don't have to, but I think it's a good idea. All right, got one there, I think. Oh, yeah, we might want to rebuff before going up there. Okay, thank you. Uh, let's see, where am I? Okay. Yeah, there's one more ingredient up here. Gotcha. Now this will pretty much take us to the end. There are some isolated areas that I also want to go to find some treasure as well. Screw you, I'm getting out of here. Okay, let's see this one. There's an ingredient right there. And I think that's it. There's no other path. Yeah, this is just a tiny isolated area. I don't think I got the ingredients over here yet. Gotcha. Okay. By the way, I wouldn't fully stack up on ethanol because we're going to find a whole lot of it. That's why I only bought like 80 of them or so. Okay, well, we can go for this one first. Oh, I passed up an ingredient. Well, I'll get that on the way back. Okay, let's see. We got one right there. Can't go anywhere else from here, so let's head back. Let's see. Let's get speed going just in case. I wonder how much that helps, even multi-targeting, because it does reduce its effectiveness, but not the duration. Not bad, almost 80%, that's fair enough. I think that's a reasonable hit percentage. 
But I will eventually level it up even more. Haha. <laughs> and then I will be invincible. Let's see, I think there's one up here? Or no. Oh, I'm looking at the wrong part. Okay. Never mind. Uh, it's very nice recording videos with two computers. Well, I've been doing that for years, but it makes it helpful so I can actually look at a map at the same time I'm doing other stuff. Okay, we got there. Okay, there's a couple ingredients here. One there. Where are all the Aglans? I'm wasting my spells. Let's see, I can drain the buzzard at least. Jolly good. And let's see, one more down there. Awesome. Okay, let's get to the end of this place then. Whoa! Ow, I don't want to recast speed because we're pretty much at the end now. Last teleporter. Oh, there's a, uh, oh, more call beats. Awesome. Let's see, we get one there. One there. And there's one more to the left. Where is it? There. Okay. So, let's uh, heal everyone up now. I don't have anyone to double drain. Awesome. And let's see. Let's get back on the sword then, shall we? And set the dog to killer attack mode. Uh, let's see. What else was there? Oh, I want to uh, rebuff. Get some speed going on everyone. And let's get to the end of this place. For Super Tentacle Hentai Porn! For boss time against Aquagoth, or however you pronounce his name. Buffa! Literally, in this case. And then let's just start charging up. The face part here is the part that you actually need to hit in order to kill him. Now, I'm kind of taking advantage of part of the way the game works, where you saw how I hit him twice with the same move? That's because I started an attack, I evaded, and then the game made me continue the attack, so I effectively dealt damage twice with that. <laughs> Alright, got them all. Wow, that was enormously easier. But y yeah, you see, uh, yeah, evading, really, really helpful. Oh, awesome. I guess honey's good. Why not? Oh, thank you. See, viewers? Wishes do come true sometimes. And we're just gonna leave Carl behind. Bye-bye! How is the dog charging up his attack still? I don't know. What do you mean? Oh. Hmm. Well, you're welcome. Well, we just went into the cave. The door opened, and we got in. We blew it open. Oh. Apparently so. Speed is really useful against them. Okay, I get it. My buffs have worn off. Oh, yeah, we kind of want to bring him up here. Okay, good. Finally, the buff message wore off. <laughs> Dogs understand English. Of course they do. Whoa! Apparently so. How powerful could he possibly be now? Well, not as powerful as my toaster, but we'll take what we can get. Ah. Oh, sounds like a plan. Someone's got to be in charge of the place. Uh, no, I don't think so. But before moving on, I need this guy to get out of my way so I can get on that staircase. <sighs> Okay, well, if he doesn't get off in, like, the next ten seconds, I'm going to, uh... Oh, okay, there we are. Okay, now, we get up here, and just keep pressing the B button, and turning the crane there. Keep doing that for a while. Okay. 
Now it's going automatically, and whoa! One of those guys came following us. Well, okay, there it is. But yeah, you want to do that because you'll be able to get a good item later on for doing that. So yeah, kind of a bastard move, but oh well. All right, feathers. They are a really expensive ingredient, like a thousand for five of them, of, well, whatever the currency is around here. See, I know there's an ingredient around here somewhere. Okay, got that. Acorns are also really good. Well, let's take a look around then. Oh, yeah, I don't need to, uh, to be attacking so much. Oh, right, I want to get back to the spear. I heard you from the future viewers. Thank you. Okay, let's see. If we go over here... Man, they got slimes and everything around here. Thanks, boy. But yeah, uh, one of the reasons why I wanted to uh, talk about grinding here eventually is because the enemies here drop feathers, which are otherwise re very expensive. So you want to be careful with that. But yeah, we're going to be using feathers in one of the best or most powerful spells in the game. Hey, hey all right. Now we got five medallions that we can use for boss fights with Atlas. So that's pretty nice. I think there's an ingredient around here somewhere. Well, let's take a look around up here first. Let's see, where are they? Maybe I gotta back out and go back in or something. Where the heck am I? Okay, let's see. I think it's like right around here somewhere. There it is. Okay. And there's gotta be one around here somewhere, but I can't seem to get it to show up. You know where it is, boy? Hmm. Okay, I can't find it. Whatever. There, I have it on my map, but I, I don't know why I can't seem to find it. Whatever. Well, let's see. Let's go over here. Yeah, lots of secret passages for treasure. Okay, one more ought to get him. Maybe I should use speed or something. And, but I want to level up my double drain spell, too. Okay, let's see. We got that. Got a mushroom there. Awesome. Do the best I can with these guys. Nice. Did he drop anything? No. I'm going to assume he didn't. Okay, just stand pat there, boy. I will finish killing the enemies soon enough with their dancing moves. Dancing mad? No, well, sort of. Yeah. yeah, so we got another amulet there. So if you couldn't buy them back at the uh, trading center there, well, now we can. Or now we find more on our own. Let's see, where is this thing? Gotcha. Okay. That's everything for this part. Yeah, these guys really like to drop the feathers. I mean, it's not an extraordinary common drop rate, but enough to make me want to use them for grinding later on. Did he drop something? He kind of looked like he did, but I can't tell. No, I can't see anything. Okay. Let's see. If we go left here... Ha-ha! Hey, hey! All right! Good boy! Okay, we get a little more there. Yeah, iron is going to be pretty useful here, too. Got plenty of new ingredients. Well, maybe not 100% new, but we, we're going to get alchemy spells that can use them. So, um, yeah, you know what? I'm taking too much damage here. Let's, uh, buff up. And, uh, double drain while I'm at it, too. Would be nice to get it up to level 2. Uh, let's see. Hedgedillo, whatever that is. It's like an armadillo and a hedgehog or something? I don't know. Hey, hey, all right. Good job. Let's see. You got an ingredient? Awesome. Let's see, where'd that guy go? Ha! Gotcha. Okay, let's see. I think there's another ingredient over this way. Okay, just go left from here. Ha ha! Acorns! Not nearly as annoying as guardian acorns, but these ones are actually useful. I don't hate all acorns, just ones that take away the music. Although there's not really much of a music theme here. Ah, oh, it kind of is. Awesome. Okay, let's see. Let's go up there. Whoa. Whoa, three of them. Die, all of you. Oh, wow. These guys don't seem to be very susceptible to magic. 
even double drain doesn't work too well on them. Well, I'll do the best I can. Let's, uh, yeah, let's get speed going again. All right. Okay, got those guys. Let's, oh, one more. Yeah, you just stand pat there. I could just direct my dog to never attack, but, well, I want him to contribute a little bit every now and then. If you set him to, like, all the way to the left... You, oh, wow. <laughs> okay, well, that's one way. But, yeah, if you set his AI, like, all the way to search, he won't attack, like, ever, even if you direct him to do so. So, I mean, I want him to be able to attack, you know, defend himself, but... Hey, all right! And that's going to be very useful against uh, boss uh, later on. You know the one, Beerus. If you want to use it, that is. Let's see. Okay, I want this. Let's see. Where is it? It's around here somewhere. Let's see, I need to go up a little more, I think. Hmm. I know there's another ingredient around there. Well, if I can't get it soon, I will wait. Hmm. I could have sworn there was another one. Oh, um. Yeah, die. Thank you. Okay, let's see. I am there, so. Let's see. I think it's around. Okay, never mind. Screw this. There was. Oh, you know, that's a feather. I, might, I really want to get that, actually. Um, okay, well, hold on, viewers. I will skip to where I actually find it. Okay, never mind. I can't find it. I, I don't know where that feather was or where it went, but... Oh, well. It's just one node. It's not the end of the world, so... Okay, well, let's take a look at Ivor Tower. And around here, well, we got a little more trading to do. Not nearly as much as Nobilia, but still... There's some uh, really good stuff we can get here. And uh, also, just as a reminder, uh, you want to be careful with taking some of the treasures in one of these houses. Uh, there's a guy named Lance, and if you take his treasures before getting permission, you won't be able to get a good item from it. Not that, again, not that that's the end of the world, but it is more optimal. So let's see. Ah, there's an end. Yeah, I could use a good rest. Hey, how's it going? Sounds like a plan. How many... Uh, what is it? Ah, well, there we are. Yeah, I was gonna say, how many, uh... Whatever the currency is around here, I'm guessing it's just gold now. And we'll be able to do a currency exchange soon enough. I'll grab that chest, too, later. Well, sounds like a plan. But will the dog get us into more trouble than ever before? Find out next time on Let's Play Secret of Evermore. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.